Hi, Dave Adams here. Um, just giving a bit of an update. It's been a really rough week. Uh, I suppose a rough week at school anyway. Sorry, this is my laptop. Uh, it's been a really rough week at school, just, just with a lot of stuff going on. Um, namely, uh, one of our staff members passed away suddenly and uh, she was someone that I've team taught with for the last couple of years. She's an exceptional lady and she was a mentor to me um, through when I was when I was taking on history and geography. So that was that was really hard. And as part of the pastoral care team, it's been um, I've been one of the people in the in, in the way of trying to build a response from the school and how to manage uh, student responses and help break the news to them and help them manage what they're going through. A lot of them, she's been in the school for over ten years. Um, so there was a there was a lot of a lot of emotion this week. So it's been a hard week, um, and we've got another week ahead in which we're we've got to do we've got the funeral and other arrangements going on. Um, we've got a memorial service at the school, and I'm you know part of my job is helping to coordinate those efforts and, and to make those things run smoothly. So it's been I've, I've been really pulling back this week in terms of uh, stuff on the site, which you know is, is stuff that we. For the stuff that came out was stuff that was already recorded or, or whatever. Um, but it's been tough. So, you know, I appreciate people's patience with that. Um, in other stuff that we've been doing, um, Ricky and I started testing our game that gave you a sneak peek to the, the other week, uh, the other day. And it is unnerving. Um, it seemed to play really well. I think there's a there's maybe a couple of bugs to, to, to iron out, to think through. Um, it's very early days. We've played it as two player, one player. We've tried to pretend to be three players. Um, we, we haven't done, sort of done a four player game of it yet, but it was running really well. So it's encouraging. Um, we've also started prototyping another game uh, today, which is a much simpler game. There's fewer fewer parts involved, so it shouldn't take long to get up a prototype and get it get it active. Um, it should be a game that plays in maybe five to ten minutes um unlike the the one that we built which is seems to take maybe half an hour to get through um so that was so it, it's encouraging that we're we're sort of we're, we're thinking of new ideas we're keeping the ball rolling we've, we've got prototypes active we've got we, we feel almost like we need other people to help us play it to show us what's wrong um because we we don't want to get caught in the whole Oh, um, this game which I've loved and given birth to and nurtured and all those sorts of things it suddenly becomes too precious for us to critique. I, I'm reticent because I think there must be more wrong with it. I can see some issues in turn. I can at least predict issues, although we haven't, we've only run into them once. I can predict one particular issue, which may be a bit more regular than what we've seen. I can predict other issues which we haven't seen, but... I could see happening because I know I just know probability and, and what can happen in terms of card rates and turning over um, because it has two random elements, which is the, the deck, which has a randomized set of cards and the, the dice, which we roll. So with those two random elements, it's uh, how do you mitigate those situations you get into where the cards and the dice just work against the basic or well, what's the word I'm looking for? work against the nature of the game and what's meant to happen. So so just thinking through some of those issues, thinking through some ideas. I've got some people coming into, into, into the office now. You can hear the door. Um, but yeah, just trying to think through some of those challenges of how do I, do I need a rule? Do I need the idea? I'm trying to be really, my goal is to try and have as minimal rules as possible. It should be easy to pick up and, and at least have some idea of what to do or for it to play smoothly. I feel if I'm going, if I'm writing more than a page of rules, I feel like I'm writing too much at this stage, at least for the the level of complexity of the game. Um, so I'm really trying to keep it compact. I feel some of those rules will get bigger as I run into issues with people understanding them and I may need to clarify terms or to clarify mechanics. Um, so I see that as something that's going to happen. So in the meantime, I'm trying to minimize the amount that's uh, the amount of text in the amount of the number of rules um, and because it's going to grow naturally as a result of interacting with others so I, if I if I start big it's going to be harder to rein in um, and I really I really want clear concise rules that aren't confusing but 
don't burden people with a big lot of text, especially when these games are very small games. So when you think about, you know, half an hour of gameplay shouldn't require a whole booklet of rules to get through. It should require one page of rules. Uh, you know, I was looking at some of the games recently that I've played, like Hex Agony, um, and uh, so I'm just looking over at my, my set of games to see what else, which, which what the other one was, uh, Lanterns, the Harvest Festival. I mean, they're really simple rules. Uh, they take very little time to read through, and once you've gone through the gameplay like for one round, you know what to do, you're into it, like everything makes sense. That's what I'm aiming for. So, and Ricky's been really good. He's just a wealth of ideas and questions, and he provides some really great moments of inspiration. In when I'm sitting there puzzling over ideas, he 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 throws the he gets the right word. He, he seems to just he's very intuitive in what he's doing as well as very thoughtful. So, um, it's been just invaluable having him back. Like, <laughs> I love having him back in Brisbane for selfish reasons, apparently. <laughs> Not just for his sake, but because, you know, he, he's great to work with. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're working on those things. Um, hopefully, so by this week, we'll have two prototypes going. Um, we'll be refining some of those rules. We'll be getting some things. Ideally, we need to, I want to move to testing with others for a little bit. Uh, I want a few different people to, to play through it for me. Um, might even show it to some kids to see how they think about it. Because I've got, I think it's an advantage if I can get younger audiences to engage with the game to see because I think they they have a natural way of pulling up insight which as an adult I think around or think through and I don't see and they see it because they, they just everything's new and, and they haven't you know I, th I think their, their insight is just invaluable so I'm going to try and play it with a few kids see what happens um, so yeah so that's what we're up to actually had a really good thing this week where actually <laughs> I had a couple of kids come up on detention because they they came into class like really late and so they owed me some time and so they came up to my office to do work and they saw all the board games and they went what's all this i really like board games i'm like are you kidding i do a board game club every week doesn't matter however they saw all the board games and they said can we play one and i said well not while you're under tension but you can come up later and play one and so sure enough they came up they've uh, came up a couple of lunch breaks now they're, they're coming up today they loved lanterns um it was just their, their grade four, four kids, their grade four, so nine years old, eight years old, nine years old. So, but just re it's really good. Like, you know, there's the these kids who just had sort of one of them is kind of having a lot of issues um, building friendships in that uh, and, and working well in the classroom, but you bring him into a board game and he's problem solving he's thinking through he's challenging he's uh so he's learning and he's interacting with others so that's a really good thing and the other kid is this way crazy mad sports dude like amazing at football for a little guy he's one of the best of my when i was i coached the year four football team this year and he was one of the best and yet he is madly in love with these board games so who am i to question i'm not gonna i think that's brilliant anyway just bring a quick update um thank you for your time sorry I've been a bit held back in what we've released this week. I'm sure you understand. Uh, I appreciate your patience with that. It'll probably be, you know, much scaled back next week as well. Uh, not a lot happening. Um, but in the in the meantime, thanks for listening. I'm just thinking out loud. See ya.